Hey guys, what's up? Just showing you, uh, making a little knife collection video, I guess you could say. Well, not guess, I guess it is. Uh, this is an old school Union toolbox that I got from a buddy of mine who gave it to me for free a long time ago. I actually used to have tools in here, but, um, it's, you know, it's pretty rough and whatever. I thought, what can I use this for? So, what I did was, I thought, hey, this could be a cool... EDC kind of toolbox thing I could keep on my shelf in my room or my dresser or whatever. And that's what I turned it into. So let's get into it. Up top is my normal EDC stuff. Every day. Um, got my bracelets like this one. This paracord here, the black one. I have a black and white Cobra Weave one. I have a blue and white Cobra Weave one. I've had some, uh, some other ones as well that I've given away over the years, but Anyway, so just a cheap EDC orange and black watch. Uh, this is, I wear EDC this a lot. It's my fossil blue watch. I have a black band for it as well. Um, this is the Timex Marathon. Remember, this is my cheap stuff, guys. This is my Adidas watch I wear a lot. You've seen in my videos. Uh, this is a holster for my Ultrafire. 501 flashlight. I don't even have to keep it at home right now. I keep it at work, but it's an Uncle Mike's holster. It works pretty good actually. It fits it well. It's a new camera angle here, guys, so I hope this works. <laughs> then up here, I keep some El Cheapo knives. Uh, some. This is an eBay, I don't know, Defender Extreme. It's, 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 it is what it is. I got it a long time ago for five bucks. It, it's kind of crap, but it's a spring assisted. Anyways, whatever. Um, there's another El Cheapo off of eBay. Um, if you can see that, it's black and gold. The blade was black. I kind of stonewashed it to see if I liked it. Meh, didn't really like it. So, it's in a shitty drawer. A couple of multi tools. This one I don't really carry a lot, but this is the Gerber clutch. Uh, my buddy Gibbons gave this to me. He's the man. Thank you, Gibbons. There's one thing I don't have in here, which is, um,. I have to do a review on still actually. Or did I do a review? No, I don't think I did. It's the Victoria Knox Swiss Champ. The Victoria Knox multi tool. That thing is nuts. Uh, shout out to Gibbons. He gifted that to me as well. Real nice guy. Thanks, buddy. Here's also my, I carry this a lot. This is my Leatherman Wingman. I love this multi tool. I bought it for 20 bucks. Um, it's got some Boo Funkus on there, a super fly flat guy. Super fly fat guy would say. But anyways, this thing rocks. I love this thing. I have the review. You guys probably seen it if you're old to my channel. If you're new to the channel, go check it out. But I love this thing. Anyways, that's the top drawer. So, um, then the first drawer is my small Ur knives. Uh, these are knives I usually rotate out of my EDC. I'll give you, as I introduce them, I'll give you the whole, I carry this a lot, I don't carry this often, I never carry this, so on and so forth. So, first one here is the Cursaw Drone. I bought this because it was super cheap. Great knife. A few of my buddies have it. Uh, Modern Warrior, Gibbons has it. A lot of guys have it. It's a great knife for the money. So, um, actually I just fixed one for my buddy, Modern Warrior. He doesn't know this yet, so if he sees the video then, you're welcome. Uh, anyways, that's that. Cursaw drone. Cool knife. Spring assisted, by the way. Next is a knife I rarely carry. I just got it for a great deal off my buddy Gibbons. Uh, this is the Buck Bantam. Don't ask me which one it is. I think it's the BBW. I forget. But good knife. It's got the lockback mechanism. Pretty sharp out of the box, this thing, actually. This was given to me by my buddy. He thought it was real. It's not. This is the biggest piece of shit I've owned in a long time. Um, the lockup is, oh yeah, also shit. The clip is uh, a whole bunch of poo. Um, it's a Gerber knockoff. But I, I, it, it's shit. It's just in the box still. Don't ask me why. It's just, I don't know. It's good for maybe stabbing someone. That's about it. But <laughs> it's shit. Don't know why that's in there still. Next is the Boker Plus uh, XS. Uh, this is that split joint knife or whatever, that crazy lockup with no lock, meaning it's just a slip joint. 
Um, you could hear it there. It's pretty crazy. So once again, guys, no lock, no line, no lock, nothing. So that's for all my UK fans right there. And Pierce Morgan, right there, buddy. Um, good, cool knife, actually. My buddy Adrian donated this to the channel for a review and said, hey, it's yours. Keep it. So cool finger troll. I like this knife. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Sorry. We'll start with this one. Don't really carry this one, okay? The other ones you saw, rarely carry. So, I've maybe, I've carried this never. Um, this is, no. The Bantam, maybe a couple of times I've carried it. Um, and the drone, yeah, maybe, I don't know, handful of times in a month, if that. So, okay, starting from here. This is going to be a lengthy video, guys, sorry. This is a Sierra KT Ryan. Love this knife. It's a great knife. I, like, stole this knife. It was super cheap. Buddies didn't know what he had. And don't get me wrong, it's not like a zero tolerance or something, but I paid 10 bucks for this. So, yeah. Great knife. I don't really EDC this a lot, this one. Next is a knife I do EDC a lot. This is the Kershaw Blur. Probably one of the fastest spring-assisted knives I have. Uh, it's the red one. Not too keen on the red, but my buddy Adrian sold it to me, and I got a wicked deal. So, um, he has a... Um, Spider Coast Sharp Maker Edge on here. It's scary sharp, actually. It's, it's a nice knife. I carry that a lot. Next is a knife I carry, eh, sometimes. This is a CRKT, the M1612ZER. Um, cool knife. You've seen the review on it. Tanto. It's fully polished. Got the auto lock system. Pretty good knife. I like it. Next is a knife I don't carry that often, but I bought it because I bought it. I don't need to explain that to you knife guys. This is the Kershaw One Ton. Uh, cool knife. Uh, I had the whole the whole ton series, but I sold my um, half ton. So I just have the one ton and the three quarter ton now. The half ton was a little too small for me. If you remember, I gave one of those away, guys. That wasn't mine that I gave away. I don't do that. Everything I give away is new. So, anyways, three quarter ton. Cool knife. I like this knife a lot. Don't really carry it too often, but this is a knife I used to carry a lot. This is the Volt Stainless Steel. I got this off my buddy Adrian as well. I love this thing. Good weight to it. As you know, guys, I don't like super light knives. Um, the spring assist with flippers is awesome. It deploys amazingly well. Frame lock. Good knife. like that knife. Next is my probably only... Nah, maybe I have one or two custom customized knives. This is made by Two Thumbs, the scales. Uh, it's kind of got this freaky Halloween kind of eye staring at you thing. It is a flipper. This is the Kershaw Speed Bump. Uh, cool knife. Bought this off my buddy Adrian. It's got a stupid edge on it too. So I rarely carry that. Maybe on Halloween. <laughs> Here's my custom Spiderco Tenacious that I made. Just basically getting an all black Tenacious with uh, blue and black Tenacious. Uh, blue and satin Tenacious and combine them into one. I love this thing. It's great. Rarely carry this. Don't want to scratch it. I just like it. <laughs> this I carry about 90% of the time. This is my Spyderco Tenacious. 8CR. Nothing special. Nothing whatever. Look at all the use on this thing. Hopefully this is focusing for you guys. It should be. This thing has seen a lot of use. Carries a stupid sharp edge all the time that I made on my um, Apex Pro. I love this knife. Guys, for the money... The ten you can't go wrong with the Tenacious, you just can't. It's beefy, deploys really, really good as I didn't show there. It's got awesome gym. It's just a great knife. It's a Hall of Fame knife, there's nothing in the fence you would say. Uh, great knife, fucking awesome, love it. This is my gentleman's carry, believe it or not. This is a Crown 2, I love this thing. Um, great knife. That's my phone, so hold on. Alright, I'm back. So that's the Crown 2. I really like this thing. I wear this whenever I've got, I go to, go to a wedding. Not wear it, but I carry it. Whenever I go to go to a wedding and stuff, it's just sleek. It's nice. Uh, I was thinking of painting the pocket clip black, but what I do is I don't carry it like I would a normal knife with the clip. I just put this actually in my suit pocket, inside the jacket pocket, whatever. Uh, but I love this thing. It's great. I carry this, like I said, all weddings when I'm dressed up, going somewhere, and you know, when Cigar Buff's looking fucking hot, you know, what do you want me to say, you gotta rock a knife, always rock a knife, so, anyways, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm just, whatever, and next out of the smaller knives is my Pride and Joy, I love this thing, I bought this off my buddy Adrian, 
I traded him a knife for it. This is my Sage 3. I know Superfly wants one of these. <laughs> um, there's a lot of knives that he has that I want, but I love this thing. When do I carry this? Uh, never. I know it's stupid. Like People are like, why do you have knives and you don't carry them and they're expensive? And Well, I don't know. It's just a thing I do. Like I'd rather wreck a $40 Tenacious than $150 Sage 3. So, anyways, awesome knife, guys. It's S30. Opens and closes like a beast. Um, I love it. It's a great knife. It's fantastic. So, Part 2 is coming up. Watch Part 2. I don't want to put it in one big video. A lot of people probably won't watch it. So, Part 2 coming at you.